Hey guys, Thomas from Team Sakurazo here coming at you with another Yu-Gi-Oh! Market Watch for October. And wow, it's been a week since I did a Market Watch. I'm sorry I left you guys so dry. If this video gets 30 likes, I will do another Market Watch in about a day. Uh, also, if you guys remember the last video, I said if I got like 25 or 30 likes, I would get an Ultimate Red Dragon Archfiend First Edition, but damage. Show you guys how it looks like, and here it is. I'm going to take it out of the sleeve for this, but on my Twitter, there's way better pictures. So, in the description below, just check my Twitter out right here. It's not bad. This is it. I, I, I don't confidently call this damaged. This is more heavy play, and the back is like, yeah, it's scruffed up, but there's not like a really dense... As you guys see, like, I'm gonna, it's, I, it, this looks really good. Honestly, it's probably heavy, but it's, like, a heavy you wouldn't mind playing with. Like, I'd rather play with this than some mob play cards. But, again, if you guys want to see better picture, go look on my Twitter. Usually, I would edit this video, but, guys, I've been super busy with school, so I really do apologize about that. Also, if you guys are buying cards off TCG Player, please my affiliate link down in the description below. Helps out the channel to no additional cost to you. And if you guys want to see any Yu-Gi-Oh cards in the next Market Watch, let me know down in the comment section below. And if you're not subscribed, hopefully today's the day I earned your subscription. And before we start off this video, I want to say uh, a few quick things. Uh, I know you guys, if you guys watch Master Swag Kings uh, Entertainment, uh, Market Watches, you guys know that I was supposed to got, get you guys some Echo. Or some rise. Well, I got you guys some echo, and there's been a situation where basically my packs were mapped. Uh, I have it all filmed. Would you guys still want to see that video? Because if you guys want, maybe I could just throw it up there, upload it, all that. Uh, I opened up some other stuff too there, but I want a big opening for you guys, and I wasn't really able to give you guys that because, like I said, the attorney code packs I'm 99% sure mapped. I'm trying to figure everything out with uh, the you know TCG player, all that you know. Uh, and if I can't, I'll maybe, maybe tell you guys who I got it from, you know. Is that petty? Of course. I don't really care, though. But, just wanted to say that very quickly. Also, if, depending, I might actually just open up the sealed box. I got a sealed box for you guys because I felt really upset. And I even got some OTS-14 that I'm actually going to open up in this video later on. So, maybe I could pull an ulti. Maybe I can't. Who knows? Also, thank you guys so much for supporting the store. Uh, the store's been doing very well. You guys have even left some good reviews. Uh, if you haven't lived a left a good review, uh, hopefully I did so a good job enough that you guys actually want to. But, yeah, thank you guys for buying and supporting the store. I actually filled up a bunch of stuff with it by the time you guys see this video. So go check it out again. I'm going to try to refill it every 3-4 days. But we're going to get right into the video. Uh, enough deal dallying. So, Insectors versus Photons are the last... Uh, round of the creator card project and I want to look at insectors because if they win they're gonna go straight to the moon so extra beetles uh, this is a solo print you get a first I like play for 18 first I near miss for 18 bucks if these if these win these are going to 40s probably even more if you guys want a actual good investment not bad not bad at all let's see what else they got you got Ulti Gigamantises at fifty six dollars. <laughs> All right. <laughs> no. Let's not fuck with that. See, this is the actual three of good card. Let's see how much you're going for. Near mints are twenty. How much are? F but you get first dead lightly plates for seventeen. This is the three of, I don't know why the three of is 17 and the one of is like 56, but first in your mid's 25s. I actually found these in a very recent collection that I had, so very, very happy actually. So yeah, if you actually want the good Insector stuff, get the Extra Beetle and the Zectalibers. This ship sailed, I don't know why. Uh, Hornets here, again, solo printing, dude. I, I don't know why so many Insectors have solo printings. Unlims at 10. These were like three, four dollars. I remember telling people when this went to, I believe, two, uh, getting a place that won't be too bad for the future. And uh, ten dollars on first ed light, twenty dollars. Wow. Okay. Listen, this is a steal right here. If you guys want ten dollars for first ed light play, and then jumps up right to twenty bucks first ed near mint, that's not too bad. This is for a super rare, by the way. Oh, man. 
Ultras, 10s, uh, about, you know, 6, 7. Uh, only four listings, though. Mm, getting that, getting those first sets, just clearing those off the market. Might not be a bad idea, but it's a gamble. Oh, man. Uh, and then this guy is kind of trash. Super Centipedes. Okay. This is what you guys should really be looking into because if all the Insector stuff spikes up, this will spike up. These were dollars. Now, lightly played. Well, there's a dollar fifty-five here. Then you jump up to twos. Uh, essentially. So, near mints are three. Uh, expect this to clear out. Okay, so if you guys want the penny Insector stock, this is the three of. Uh, maybe the build would change since it's been years and they play too, but this has always been a three of, from my knowledge. So, yeah. Insector stuff, uh, going a little bit to the moon here, but not exactly. Oh my god, even the garbage cart's almost hitting a dollar. Alright, we're, we're moving all along. A more fetch pain than Imagine Draco. Imagination. Uh, Draco Overlord. Now, people were really upset that this card spiked up to a whole five dollars. Like, it's five fucking dollars. Uh, like, and I mean people were upset. Uh, they're dollars. Going up to twos. Uh, so the thing about this is the OCG was playing it a lot. And it's a good card. Uh, honestly. Like, it was a promo as well from Shining Victories, I believe so. Plus, it looks super cool. Two bucks, if you actually think it's gonna do something, go pick it up. Uh, Injection Fairy Lily. So, one of my subscribers, you know who you are. We've been celebrating the Medulce Messenger Lotto Super Rare for quite some time, me and you. So, shoutouts to you. Uh, and he talked about Injection Fairy Lily. And I'm like, you know, I want to look over this. So, we have the Secret Rares from Legacy of Darkness. I actually have a Near Mint Unlimited that I got for free. <laughs> so, I kind of want to see. Oh, wow. Lightly Plates for 11. Eh, I could, I could believe that. It's a Secret Rare. Near mint's 15. How much is a first set? Uh, you know what? We're gonna put mob plays just to see how much mob play first sets are gonna go for here. Uh, no first so far. Five. 30 bucks. That's way better than I thought. That's actually not bad. Okay. That's tolerable. Light plays for, eh, 48 and then going up to 56, 57. Okay. Uh, first set near mint's 70... Hmm, that goes up to hundreds. Honestly, I I expected so much worse. Uh, if you actually really like these old school cards, a Legacy of Darkness first ed first ed injection fairy lily, we could easily see these at two hundreds. That's exactly at least what I thought. We're gonna look at the other versions though, because that's two more holographic versions. We're gonna pull you up here. Retro pack twos. Uh, these versions actually, by the way, look really beautiful. I actually like it more than the Secret Rare when it comes to play. Not that you'd be playing this card, but I just... It pops out a lot more. You guys could see here. Uh, Near Mint's 27. This doesn't have a first set, right? Yeah, 27. So if you don't like the Secret Rares and you like Retro Pack 2s, 27's not bad. Could be a lot worse. Injection Fairy Lily, Dark Beginning 2s, Ultra Rares. Let's see how much these are. $18 for lightly plays. Near mints about 30. Yeah, that's okay. Honestly, if you like dark and if you actually like this card, uh, a DB2 or a retro pack 2 might not be too bad. I'd probably rather go with retro pack to be honest with you. I think more money's there. But if you really want to make an investment that you can forget about for 10 years, heck, let's say even 5. Get the first set secrets. That's actually criminally underrated. Artifact Sanctum, Secret Rare, coming out of Battles of Legends Lights Revenge, someone wanted me to look at this really badly, and it got very upvoted, am I, I'm not a big enough YouTuber that stuff gets upvoted, so I'm like, alright, we're gonna look here, uh, first set near mints are fours, going up to maybe the five, six dollar mark very quickly, uh, and what we think, what I think about this, honestly, people just forgot about the Artifact Sanctum engine, because, People like to say that, oh, Yu-Gi-Oh gets power crept, all that. That's not incorrect, but players just get bored. Like, Eldritch is still a tier 1 deck, but people just don't want to play it anymore. They're just bored. <laughs> because Eldritch is a pretty boring deck. It's tier 1, but boring. 
And just like this, maybe people are bored of it. Secret rares for four dollars now. I actually think that these can go up to ten dollars because the secret rare looks absolutely beautiful. We'll actually entertain all the virgins here. But secret rares for five six dollars is actually a very good investment. Primal Origins, uh, Ultra Rares, I actually have, these are my personal ones that I like to use. Near Mints are 7s. First Ed's about 8, 8 bucks. Uh, not bad, I mean, I personally, if you're looking to invest or play with a version, I just get the secrets. Uh, personally, I would skip over this version, honestly, because it's like Mega Pack, it's whatever. Uh, and then, the Battles of Legend Armageddon's, though. Going up to about two dollars. I remember I told you guys to get these at dollars, so penny stocks, guys. But secret rares, honestly, it's the only version that's different from all of them, and they're not going to reprint this card anytime soon. Man, I just love the artwork with all the weapons like this. Like, definitely one of my favorite trap artworks in the game. I'll tell you that. When it comes to like excluding rarity, when it comes to the actual card, right? Uh, honestly, this is very pretty good actually to have. Goblin Zombie, coming out of Phantom Darkness. So, when this card inflicts battle damage to your opponent, send the top card of their deck to the graveyard. When this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, add a zombie monster with 1,200 or less defense from your deck to your hand. So, a lot of zombies actually have, like, little to no defense. So, while that search effect may look limiting, it's, it's really not. Uh, let's see how much these are. So, you could get... Hmm. Lightly played on limiteds for 10s. By the way, this card looks absolutely beautiful. Uh, first set lightly played for $22. Actually, no. We have a first set light play, and then it goes up to 4 Listen, I, usually I'd like to remind you guys to use the affiliate code, yes, that, all that. This is literally free money. That is something you guys should get sooner or later. That is a very, I'm just making sure I didn't, yeah, $40. Uh, what I like, what I would say is, I mean, this card could go up, but you have to remember it's also zombies, you know, and in older formats, this isn't, like, as keen as people would think it is, right? But as a zombie card, it's it's still okay. Would I say go crazy about it? If you could get them for cheaper, go for it, but for $40, I would just keep an eye on them. But they could get bought out at any moment, so it really just depends on how you feel. Because, you know, one person with deep pockets... However, this first set light you played, all oh, that should be gone. Uh, that's all I'm going to say. But we also have dual terminal goblin zombies. So if you guys look at $40 and you're kind of feeling like me on it, uh, buy a dollar. Going up to about three, actually. Someone could just clean these out. There's what? Now, I'm literally looking at the copies, doing some math in my head. There's rough... Oh, well, there's this guy with the wall of 22 here, but... Yeah, that's this isn't really too much money. Someone could clear these off the market, and they would be permanently gone for a while. Yeah, and if you guys are wondering what other rarities you have to choose from, I believe there's a super rare. Uh, yeah, there's a super rare, but it's the promo. So, you know, it's not going anywhere anytime soon. Also, if you guys like these longer mark watches, definitely leave a like. Phantasme, secret rares. I looked at this, and I was like, you gotta be kidding me. First aids are 20s? Listen, I remember it. I told people $30 to grab them. I didn't think they were going to go below 30 and here we are. We do realize this is an OG hand trap that was meta relevant for almost... No, a whole year, right? We do realize that, right? Sorry, guys, it's late night, and I'm just thirsty, man. I was out all night celebrating a birthday. Not all night, but... Yeah, so $20, that, that's free money. Get yours while you can. That's... Oh, my. Yeah, secrets? Even, I mean, you got dual overloads at about sixes. Supers, rising... Yeah, just get the secret rares for $20. That, that is the most free money I've ever seen. Thank you for whoever told me to look at these. You know, man, like, I, I told people that some of this other stuff was... No, no, th this takes the cake. Definitely go in the thumbnail. Uh, Animator Archazors. Still at about 55s. Mm. You know, when this topped, 
with uh, Team Samurai. I saw this coming. What I want to know from you guys is I can actually get these for pretty cheap. I could probably get them for like 30s. Uh, if you guys want these, uh, I might put them on the store for a little cheaper. Because I feel like I don't want to sell this card for $50. I feel like I want to sell a playset for maybe 120 130 That's how much I feel. So, if you guys are interested, let me know. But, is this a, what I think about this card? It, I just really like it because it's literally... I love jewel beads. I really like these. I don't know why. So, I just fell in love with this card. I'm not a dinosaur player, but I will always have a place in my heart for this card. Evil Zord, Dolka, more dinosaurs. Picked one of these up today from a collection, and that this is $15 still. This card is in desperate need of a reprint. Oh my god. And then we have... The original from Photon Shockwave, which is the version I would get. I would literally, if you don't want to get a first ed, well, actually, I would just bite the bullet and get the first ed's lightly plates for 24. First in your mid 25. Honestly, I would just, I would spend the extra $10 get a first, but yeah, I would definitely would get unlimited of this. I would rather get a light play or something, but a lot of money, I'll tell you that. Fossil Dig, OTS, Tournament Pack 7. Uh,. Just ten, they're literally tens. I remember these were like a dollar or two, and I had it in my five cards having your trade binder, I believe, at one point. And I told them people to get these at threes because this is the hot one of the highest rarities for fossil digs. Because I'm not going to count all the duels promos that are like forty bucks for a purple fossil dig. Tens. I actually have these on my store, by the way. If you want to place it for cheaper, it's there. Shameless plug, I know, guys, but sometimes I see these prices, I'm like, are you guys interested in these cards? Because I feel like I'd love to help a subscribe out. Lightning Storms, uh, 98. First Eds are 100. Honestly, if you have this card, get rid of it. Uh, this card, you know, we've gotten up to... I forgot what set, but it's a set before Attorney Code uh, getting reprinted. So, I believe it's like... Maybe Chaos Impact? And then Ignition Assault happened. I'm pretty sure it's something like that. But, yeah. Uh, this is pretty close to being able to be reprinted, per se. Same with Echo. I would just get rid of them at $100. You have, you, there's no events. By the time there's events, this will get reprinted. You could just buy your originals back for even lower. And you have Harpy's Father Duster. So, just free money. Just get rid of it. If, you, if someone's offering a decent deal on this, like 80 bucks, I don't even know if I'd take it at that point. Elemental Mysterious Doriendo. So, fun fact, actually. And if you're an OG subscriber, I actually talked about this in a video. And on MSKs once or twice. Uh, I actually have a funny story about this card. So, I actually love this card because when I used to roll for cards, which I haven't done in, man, very long time. I'll tell you that. Uh, I remember this used to me go back and forth between me and one of my acquaintances and... It, it was fun. It was real fun. These were 45s when we rolled them. And I remember going to my teammate. And I'm like, yo, bro, I won like $60 rolling. He's like, dude, you, what you win? You won some good shit? So I showed him this. No, it was $80. But I showed him this. And he was like, Tom, what is this? I'm like, bro, it's a first ed from Lost Millennium? He's like, I don't want to see it. He was he was out of it. He's he was like, yeah, what, what what the fuck is that bullshit? But man, when I'm monetized, I'm gonna miss have being able to swear. I'll tell you that. Uh, lightly played twelve bucks near mids twenty five. This light plays that for t thir about twelve bucks. Not too bad. First sets though are cleared off the market. You got a mob play here for forty seven, and you got near mids for hundred. I'll tell you guys this though. On Euro Market, which I will do a Euro Market watch. I'm going to get to it, guys. Do not worry. If you guys want to see a Euro Market watch, let me know in the comment section below. I will do it one day. It's just, I'm so busy. You could get these for a lot cheaper. So, I'll cover this card again. I've been hearing some idiots around the block talk about Toon Kingdom. Uh, to That these versions aren't going to be worth money. And I don't know... What idiot has been spouting these lies? But secret rares for thirty-five dollars from Dragons of Legends two, very cheap copies. Remember when these were eighty, ninety? They can go back up to eighty or ninety. 
uh, rares. Eh, this is, this is, I, maybe I'd skip out on this. I'd rather just get more of this. Uh, Toon Kingdom Ultras. I am saying this right now. Once these start going up or they're gone, you will not see a cheap Toon Kingdom card or a printing in your life again. So get these while you can. I, I really like secrets, but I want to see what ultis would do and where they'll go. Black Salvo from Crimson Crisis. Uh, someone let me look at this because it's used in old, sc 2009 format. I haven't heard this card in forever. So it's a Dark Machine Tuner, level 3, 100 attack, 1100 defense. When this card is normal, some you can special a level, uh, 1 level 4 Dark Machine type monster from, uh, your graveyard in face-up defense position, but its effects are negated. So you were able to use this in a couple of things, actually, believe it or not. A lot of machine decks were roaming around. Uh, this was post, I think it was Crimson, yeah, Crimson Crisis had all the, um, the reactor cards from the anime, if you guys don't know, uh, the 5Ds World Cup, the first one, uh, where you say had to fight Jack Atlas, one of the opponents rising up there, you, I used this card, it's not bad, not bad at all, let's get into, like, lo cool level 7s, like Dark Strike Fighter, which got banned, by the way, because there was a loop, but then it got rotted. First and lightly played for a dollar. Okay. First and you're meant... Yeah, about a dollar or two. There's just a lot of copies. But honestly, if you actually like this card as an investment... It's not bad. I mean, if it had the normal or special summon, this card would be way better. But getting these for OG formats are just to hold on to. Because Rogue Strategy is, you know... It is a Reborn. A normal summon Reborn. That is a tuner. It's not bad. Especially if you could bring back a dark machine type monster that, you know, does something when it's like linked off into Neo Fiber. Ooh, this card's very good. So, not bad getting it. Elemental Hero Rampart Blaster. This is for a rare uh, Dark Revelation Volume 4. Ah, vintage values to the moon. Got it. That is all I'm going to say. And let's look at the Ultimate Rare. So, which, Ultimate Rare looks pretty cool. Uh, we're gonna turn off filters, because I'm very curious to see stuff here. Yeah. Lightly, <laughs> no one's gonna buy this. Lightly played, 93. That's actually a lot better than I thought. Uh, mod for German. Oh, it's German. Oh, if it was English. Let's see how this looks. Oh, that, I, that corner. Unfortunate. There's a little gash there. Oh, uh, there's the bottom here, a little there. Yeah, this is definitely mod play. Oh, that back gash. That's hard. But you know what? I'm going to give, and I don't know the seller, uh, f you know, uh, what's it called? Sun Valley Gaming. I don't really know them personally, but the fact that you have a mod play card and you put pictures, especially when it comes to like stuff that's more money. That I have a lot of respect for that. I actually really like when sellers do that. So, uh, there's a German first set for 170 near mint. Let's see how that looks actually. Honestly, the reason why this is so a lot cheaper is because a lot of the OG collectors hate foreign cards. Like, look at the difference between a first ed lightly played uh, American to a first ed ulti, uh, you know, near mint for 170 bucks German. Uh, it's just, it's hard to get rid of for foreign. Just is what it is. Alma Toro Shining Flare Wingman. I went over this uh, in a market watch in a five card time in your trade binder. Uh, you can get lightly played for about sevens here. Uh, near mint's for about 9, so... Eh, it doesn't really look like it's moved too much, but I still think this is a very good investment to get. Since collectors may come to the DT market. Uh, we're gonna look through one more card, and then I'm gonna open up these OTS packs. So, Thor, Lord of Azir, Ultimate Rare. Uh, I remember these were like 6 $7. Now, they're double that for Unlim. Uh, let's see how much a first set is. 
to why oh my god I why is this a hundred dollars I'm sorry guys okay let's see how this is heavy played a little bit here, a little bit there, okay, a little bit here. Am I missing something? How's this heavy played? Uh maybe something in the middle here. Listen. If that's heavy played, man, I I've seen TCG player say that's near mint before but yeah uh like i was saying where's that where's that copy that looks good for 50 dollars. that actually might be worth picking up here if this video gets 40 likes i'll pick it up how about that 40 likes i'm asking for a lot because it's a lot it's 50 dollars. so before we go to this wing dragon raw i'm gonna open up these ots packs i don't like to do openings i'm gonna hope for a messenger lotto and hopefully, okay, the hollow's at the back. So you guys are going to see it first for me, okay? Uh, hopefully, you know, Dragoons would be cute too. Hopefully I could pull the ulti here. Where is it, guys? Oh! A pointer of the Red Lotus? Yo! That's actually really cool. Next pack. You know... I was hoping for one good super. I'm happy. Let's see if we can get a messenger. I don't want to say ulti because I can't get my hopes up. I'm holding the ulti in the mirror, guys. I could just pshht, rip it up there. Oh, this is some trash. Oh. Oh. Uh, UA stuff. Ah. All right. I, I just didn't want to wait to open that. Uh, 250. Okay. You know, uh, I was talking to uh, uh, my boy Jimmy Ha about this, about the scratches on these. I've seen one, and it was good, but I've heard the scratches are on some of them. And honestly, what people, some people don't understand is that's just how Ghost Warriors have been for the longest time. Like, they should have made it more durable, but you know what? I, at least you're not seeing, like, a bunch of moderately played unlimited. So, honestly, like I said, uh, MSK said, yo, they're not going to go below 350. I'm like, bet, they're going to go to 200. Well, they're 240, and they're, they're just stacking up right now a little bit. So, goes to 200. I want to grab it. Like, honestly, for my collection, I actually don't even want the ghost. It's not that ghost, the ghost doesn't look good. It's just, I don't feel like spending this amount of money just right now for this one card. My, the D-Boys, or like I say, my Saturday nights. Someone bought this out, and I'm very sad. Why you gotta, why you gotta buy out the boys? First said light play here. There's no reason I should love this card so much. It's, it's such a bad card, too. Oh, my God. So, you have a first set from a new seller. About 10 bucks, 10 25 I just don't think I was trying to buy this card. <laughs> it's only got one brain, too. I swear, there is so much stuff in specifically Zexel that just never got another printing. Like... Okay, so the first half of Zexel just said, you're never getting a reprint. The second half of Zexel was like, we're going to get you guys a print, a reprint in the tins, and we're going to forget about you. Evenly matched from Dual Power. Fun fact, I picked this up from a collection. I picked it up from a guy for about 16 bucks for two. And I put it on the shop for 29 I was like, I'm you know. And I did a, about a little bit before I got on for this market watch, and it already sold. Uh, it sold within three minutes. I think I've had a card sold within five before. Never three minutes. So, people really like this card. Uh, first Ed's 
18 20 dollars honestly i still think this is on the this will always be a good card in my opinion i will always run this card uh first set secrets about 20 24 dollars going up to 25 circuit break secret rares uh let's see how much you are first set lightly play for 28 uh, tw 29. Honestly, I want original secrets so bad, but, you know, I'll deal with my ultras. The ultras look very nice. Uh, let's see. Let's look through at another card here. Um, let's look at you. Infant Permanence, $44. I told you guys to pick this up when you could at 20s. I literally talked about this so often. Like, yeah, this is going to go 40s. People are going to bitch and complain again. Oh, boy. History repeats itself. The Winged Dragon of Ross Fear Mode is kind of going up at $10. People don't realize that this is basically almost a better kaiju at times. It requires three tributes from either side of the field to normal them to that side of the field. Uh, you literally just tribute Dragoon. And if they, or if they double Dragoon, that's even better. Uh, it's just they have to put three monsters. That's the only thing that sucks about this card. But honestly, in today's Yu-Gi-Oh, when are you going to run into that? That's all I really have to say. Uh, actually, let's look at all versions here. Because dual powers, I remember these were like 2 $3 each. And I could have got... I, when they were $5 like a, two weeks ago, because I covered this card. Uh, I offered a guy fours on them. Because I really wanted them, and I couldn't get them. He, he wanted them, and he, he made the right choice. Circuit breaks. Yeah, Wow, you got two... Cheap copies here, and then it goes up to 10. Then we got Duels Pack. Battle Cities. Let's see how much you are. 15s. Okay. Plague Spreader Zombie. I, I'm i bringing this up because I thought this calmed down, and a guy had one. He's like, yeah, I need to move this. And he's like, yeah, man, I want like 15 bucks for it. I'm like, you know, sure. I was like, whatever, because I was already plussing, and I don't know why these are $25. Uh, if you guys want one, I have one on the store now, so hurrah, hurrah. And the worst part is, this is the bomb of the barrel. It goes up to 32 I don't know who's buying $32 for this. First, the damage for 40 I don't want to look through all this disgusting shit. I'm going to go to light play. Light play's at 42 I suppose that's okay. Uh, and your mints are 50 about... How much is a first anything here? We go up to 70. This card is not worth this. Even... Not even 40% of this. Um. Oh my god. How much is an ultra rare? How much is a first at Ultra Rare? Let's see how much those are. Mm. I have a... 9 for Unlimited. First Ed's mods are 17. Getting a little worried here. $30. And going up to 35 No... No, thank you. Are the other versions of you worth all this crazy money? Let's see. Golds, uh... Oh, my God. Golds are worth money. Oh, five, six dollars, guys. What are you guys doing? <sighs> Thought this was hype. That That's so dumb. Dual Terminal 1. People want me to go over a lot more Dual Terminal cards, so I'll, I'll go a little bit. Uh, 65, Umbryonic. I mean, it could hit Trish prices one day, so, you know, a buyout's going to actually, 47, that's very cheap, it's a very cheap, that actually $47, that's, that's really good for this card, blue eyes, we got light place here for 27, Jax Undyne, this, this card had its time, Mist Worms at 12, 13, not bad. Red Eyes, listen, there's a lot of money in this if you guys want it. Dark Magician, 8 bucks. Miss Valley's 8. Wayne's at 6. I told people to get these at dollars, so hopefully you'll listen. 
Uh, these guys, this guy's always using so much older form out. Like, he was just the level 3 Earth Tuner that you could normal summon, and you could neg your opponent, and then you could sink into 5. And he has decent stats. 1600. It, it does its job. DT Nitro Wars. I'd rather get a different version. Not that DTs are bad, but... Elemental Hero Neosis at 3s? Definitely good. Remember, the whole Air Neos whatever... Combo, still a thing. DT Goyos going to threes. I told people to pick these up at dollars. So hopefully you listen. Uh, about, you know, threes on these guys. I don't know how this guy's three, but the wire one's 12. When these go hand in hand, but okay. Cyber Dragons, three dollars. Actually, very good. Not a bad version of Cyber Dragon. I, I won't play DT, though. That's a thing. Oh, Jama Yellow. This, I actually would get DTs. This is actually a very good investment here. Uh, I would just get eh, so many other versions, but DT's dollar seventy, not bad. I I have a few. Catasters, I remember these were like forties. Oh man, yeah, for older format, dollar, not bad. Uh, and then yeah, we kind of just go into like a lot of dollar dust tornadoes, DT's too, worm stuff. Honestly, I pick up a DT worm core because if everything's gonna go up, everything's gonna go up, and it's irritating. And it's just, it's a bunch of dollar stuff, waifu material, dollar. I, I, I know a person who has, a, like, nine of these. If you're watching this, bro, shoutouts. Uh, tour guide, ultimate from Astro Pack 6. Yeah, about $250. Okay, not bad. People want me to go over Duelist Alliance ultimates because it's, like, sleeper cards. Let's see here. You got over five pages of this guy. Near mints for 9. First edge for 12. $14. Honestly, I, I, I would not spend a dime on this. <laughs> Looks cool, but that's the only reason you should want it. Uh, St Stellar Knight Deltaros, on the other hand. Near mints for 5s. First edge for 550. Now this... Just takes a little bit of support. Burning Abyss got it. Shadal's got it. S I don't know how this wasn't even created card or something. Stellar Knights are close, guys. I'm telling you that's right now. Just takes a little bit of hype here. But, you know, sevens, not bad. Uh, Medolce Messenger Lotto. Going to the Shadow Realm at about 350 light play. About four, three, four bucks near mint. So, not bad. Let's look at Medulce Palooza, because I've never looked at you for a while. About three bucks. About three bucks, not bad. And then last card, Gravedigger's Trap Hole, Secret Rare, First Ed, Come Out Attorney Code, $13. Stops in the Bureau, if you can make a rank four on your fifth summon or before, play one copy of this. No Nibiru, and they take 2000 it's actually kind of cute, and they neg one card. So, you're not really essentially hand-looping them, but... You know, you're taking a card out of their hand and doing some damage. So, yeah. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe, and remember, follow my Twitter. You're going to see a better picture of this guy. So, yeah. See you guys in the next video. Remember, 30 likes. I'll do another Market Watch very soon. Bye.